You know, there are consequences to having a very great memory. It has its benefits, but hey, it has its flaws. And there are some things you want to forget about, and unfortunately, they come back. And uh, you think bygones are going to be bygones, right? Well, they'll, they come back and haunt you, and it has to haunt you. I have other videos I want to do, but uh, I have to make this video because, seriously, this is the third video where I have to discuss about the random and excessive censorship. And don't worry, this isn't going to be the only thing we're going to be talking about in this video. Uh, I do want to go ahead and talk about some other things. Now, I can talk about the current situation that's going on, but then YouTube will flip their shits. But, however, if we were to talk about the panic buyers and the uh, scalpers, I'll separate them for separate videos. That being said, I do want to go ahead and uh, go through the little uh, shenanigans that have been happening. Now, first, focusing on the random and excessive censorship. Now, I have been aware that there was a situation in Japan where a train station was apparently attacked for having a virtual assistant anime waifu. Japan. Japan. Japan's going to implement anime waifus everywhere, okay? Guess what? It, it, Japan. Okay? Sorry. It's not like the world revolves around these people anyway. Yeah. Yes, this is about the moral and political crusaders, and boy oh boy, as we're dealing with, uh, I can't say that word, because I don't know if YouTube will lose their minds over that, but we have to end up being isolated in our homes. It's not going to help when uh, the entertainment industry that we're relying on right now to keep us entertained while we're dealing with the uh, situation where we're isolating ourselves, it's not going to help when these moral political crusaders censor up things to a point where we're stuck with the orange glad I didn't say banana G and PG rated content because let's be honest because here's the thing when it comes to content rated G and PG or rated for younger audiences they make the people who make these they have this mindset of Oh, because it's rated for older audiences doesn't necessarily mean they have to consider quality control. They kind of feel like, oh yeah, it's made for younger audiences anyway. The younger audience will just eat up anything. Okay. Okay, yeah, the younger audience. Yes, the younger audiences are gullible and can eat up anything under the sun. Okay. But uh, what about the older audiences that take their kids with them? to these st things rated for younger audiences. Really, to be honest with you here, you have to consider quality control even rated for younger audiences. And these people don't see that. Alright, that being said, we're going to have to be more aware of these people that are bound to go on political moral crusades over things because... especially things rated for older audiences. Because if they try to make a scene for something that's rated for older audiences anyway, ugh, where we're not gonna... I mean, seriously, this is the third video that I have to make talking about this. And this, pretty much, uh, now that that's out of the way, we gotta have to uh, start uh, talking about Sony. Because uh, that presentation... The Road to PS5, this was a officially released informational presentation about the PlayStation 5 that Sony officially uploaded. I will put the link to that. And, uh, yeah, I, everybody was disappointed with this uh, presentation. All it just showed was the spec. Well, not really, it just showed off uh, numbers and whatever the fuck that meant. And also, uh, regarding the backwards compatibility, I don't know what the hell's going on, but there seems to be a few uh, sentences said in that presentation that kind of said otherwise. But uh, Mr. Mark Cerny, who was in that presentation, stated that, uh, that they're expecting almost all 
of the PlayStation 4 games that were in the top 100 most played to be available at launch of the PlayStation 5. Now, this kind of gets me questioning, are we kind of looking at, like, a compatibility list for PlayStation 5? If so, then why? And really, I it comes back, it always comes back. Remember that international content policy that Sony was implementing that was going very strict on uh, games, especially rated for older audiences? Yeah, that mess. I mean, we have still heard something from Sony in terms of uh, rejecting that. But however, I will have to go ahead and say this. If Sony refuses to discard the international content policy that is super strict on PlayStation games, especially from Japan, and continues to cause more censorship for games, regardless of the age rating given by the ESRB, then we will be expecting PlayStation 5 to be pretty much dead on arrival. I, I unfortunately had to say this with Funimation when they decided to remove interspecies reviewers. And I'm going to have to say this with Sony. I, I cannot be able to defend you. The only thing I can do at this point is sit and watch as Sony faces the backlash and have it haunt them and have their decision reflect against them. And it hurts them in the process. And, I, and like I said again, I am unfortunately left with nothing to do but to sit and watch. And unfortunately, I cannot defend Sony for this. And the same thing can be said with Funimation on their decision with what happened to Interspecies Reviewers. I cannot defend Funimation. I am left with nothing to do but to sit back and watch Funimation go down. And I really do not think we can be able to see a downfall of PlayStation 5. Because if that were to happen, this would not only put Sony, but also put the console gaming industry rock bottom. So this is a very, very big deal. The same thing will be definitely said to Xbox if the people dare try and implement a strict international policy. It is best suggested for Xbox to not follow suit with what Sony did. Xbox is to not have a strict international content policy. This is not a good idea. This was never a brilliant idea considered by Sony. This is not a good idea to be considered for Xbox. Unfortunately, uh, hands are tied. We're dealing with the current situation here. And people are already competing to be the next elephant in the room. And this is a problem. However, I, I kind of look at the current situations that have been going down regarding the entertainment scene and regarding the content that we've been viewing as we deal with the situation here. And I've begun to kind of think to myself, look, Brandon Rogers and Filthy Frank gave something to the to the videos we watch and that was and it was like a breath of fresh air for the older audiences okay so we're gonna let that so we're gonna sit around here and let that go to waste and this is a pleasant idea that being said i really have a good feeling that uh I really should not be holding back, and I will be doing what I can to be uh, spicing things up and kind of make things all spicy, all right? I will be doing that because I, I cannot help because really, to be honest with you here, we miss Filthy Frank, and... Somebody's been trying to do what they can to fill the void, and shenanigans keeps happening. And really, these people that have been busting their ass 
really can't be the only guy. Somebody, more and more people have to pitch in. And pretty much that includes us. So, yes, that being said, I am experimenting with, uh, I am experimenting with when we go spicy. All right. So if it means I have to go outside my comfort zone, I will have to go outside my comfort zone. As soon as this uh, video is uploaded, I will be on my way to working on the rest of the videos that are on my video to-do list. And uh, definitely, we will be going back to normal schedule. That being said, that is all. And we will be looking forward to you in the next video. Peace out.